Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Guys, I'm psyched today because there is some new Bearable Guy information that we need to cover. So, if you guys are offended by Bearable Guy, turn this video off immediately. You know, I've been getting some viewers here um, sending messages to me, sending, posting comments on Bearable Guy videos saying, and this is Garling House's neighbor, uh, unsubbed, too bad, you went from being pretty good a few months back to being just one more ridiculous poster. It's too bad. Uh, and I thought about unsubbing. I mean, unsubbing? Dude, are you serious? I mean, most of the time, I don't post about Bearable Guy. You went so far as to unsub. You like my other content, you even mention it. And so I thought to myself, nah, this, this can't be. Maybe he's unsubbing to prove a point? Because it just doesn't make sense to unsub. And you know why? Because I did the math on that. And out of the 255 videos that I've done, 13 of those videos have been about Bearable Guy. And so that equates to roughly an average of 5.09% of my videos are about Bearable Guy. 95% approximately are not about Bearable Guy. And so to unsub from a channel where you believe the content is generally pretty good, and yet you're unsubbing because you're angry that I'm posting a Bearable Guy video every now and then? I don't know, seems like he just wrote this because he was feeling angry. Uh, nevertheless, let's get to this Bearable Guy's mic drop. Now, I don't know, was there a little flag popping out of the mic here before? I don't believe there was. And so Rachel Lee on Twitter, um mentions this so there's the there's the flag coming off of the of the microphone and so theory she writes bearable guys letting us know that the mic drop moment is in regard to the biggest claim he's made the 589 plus second image with the black un logo could also be the flag that sits on top of the mic so as you know uh, a few weeks back bearable guy did post this photo of the un with can you hear me now okay and rocket ships going to uh what i assume is the moon and so uh the third image was his original 589 call uh as we all know that then she responds to her own tweet here uh just to add to that the original un flag was gray blue so this is the original un flag here uh gray blue in color we don't really know what bg123 means 90 percent of the time but he usually cherry picks and that's what i'm doing with the gray flag on the mic the un has been calling for a world currency since 2009 google it and so that's a uh, possibly a topic for another video nevertheless it's so hard to see uh and that even makes it smaller i, I can't see if that is the un flag or not it does look slightly blue-gray in color. But what I really think is interesting was when we talked about this briefly yesterday, the MasterCard takes on Visa and how they are now in competition to purchase Earthport. Uh, MasterCard has now offered 233 million pounds, a cash offer for Earthport, whereas uh, Visa, a couple of, uh, or about a month ago, month and a half ago, offered 198 million uh, to purchase Earthport. And as we know, this is significant because Earthport um, has ties to Ripple using Ripple's uh, technology for instant settlements. And so I got to hand it to CKJ uh, last night for covering this. The Earthport guy, so in the bearable guy, where is it here? In the, uh, it's from here. In this bearable guy photo here, the can you hear me now guy uh, is this gentleman here who happened to be this guy here who switched from, he was originally the spokesperson for Verizon and now he is the spokesperson for Sprint. And so he jumped ship. And um, I think that it's interesting because here, here he is here uh, as the Verizon guy. He's in this Verizon um, coveralls here. And this article here just kind of talks a little bit about how he went from Verizon to Sprint and how it was a big shakeup in the uh, commercial industry. You know, a spokesperson just kind of jumping ship, going from one company to another. And so CKJ mentions that it all kind of jives with this bearable guy uh, image. And so did bearable guy know that MasterCard was in the mix? Now, let's remember, we just got wave of this two days ago on the 25th of January. And Bearable Guy posted this pick weeks ago, weeks and weeks ago, before we even knew that MasterCard was in the mix, before we even knew that there was something else brewing uh, with that Earthport deal. We had only heard that Visa wanted to purchase Earthport. And so more info just confirming that Bearable Guy knows things before they are released publicly. So CKJ uh, got as far as this. And so I found a photo here. This is the guy from his Verizon days. And sure enough, 
Here he is promoting Sprint, as we saw in this article as well. But guys, one thing I did not see, and I don't know if CKJ covered this or not. Yeah, that's right, the mic drop. The same actor from the Sprint commercial dropping the mic, and boom. Bearable guys mic drop moment tied to the UN. Uh, could the UN be using Ripple technology soon? Are Visa and MasterCard going to be uh, interrelated in this? You know, there's so many interesting things going on right now in the space. I'm getting pretty excited. I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.